show goes live in one minute, guys. Here we are again, right? Yep. Here we are. Uh, well, I want to say your first show went great. I think you're going to fit right in here. Gee, thanks. Yeah, I know it's a bit of a boys club in the news world. Uh, it can be intimidating, but as long as you and me have each other's backs, we'll be unstoppable. Gosh, Mr. Conroy, I'm even more nervous now that I know that you think I'm, I'm so great. Don't be. You're my gal pal. I'm your, I'm your girlfriend? What's that? Today is May 18th, 1995, and now presented by WIDK, this is Action News with Jack Conroy and Lillian Shank. Welcome back to another edition of Action News at 8. I'm Jack Conroy. And I'm Lillian Shank, and here's what's important to you. Today, tech enthusiasts have announced the DVD is set to replace the VHS tape as a home video format. The Video Rental Stores Association of America has announced they are gravely concerned about the disappearance of revenue from the absence of rewind fees. Blockbuster has since spoken out saying, please, we're a well-oiled machine. We don't need to worry about that. President Clinton issued Executive Order 12959 over the weekend, effectively prohibiting any and all trade with Iran. Good job, Bill. What are you doing, Jack? I may just be a lowly newsman, but I have opinions, damn it. And I feel that Iran is an unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security, foreign policy, and economic freedom of the United States of America. Be careful, Jack. Let's take it to Chet Chamberson with the wellness climate. We ask school nurses around the district what kids are complaining about most so that you can be prepared. All right, so at Ashburn, number one complaint is I want to lie down. Uh, followed by, I don't feel so good. Uh, at Henderson, one of the most common illness nurses are seeing is, uh, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Um, guys, it doesn't really seem like it's going to help anyone. Chet, uh, did you do the health report? Yeah, oh yeah, I did. I, I did them. I, 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 yeah. It, well, now, now's when you would do that report for us, okay? Health time isn't sports time. Sports time doesn't keep families safe. Well, I don't think this is going to keep them safe either. This is bullshit. That's it. We'll come back to you when you finish your report, young man. And now a word from our sponsors. For WIDK Studios, Gus Bramblewood. Other day I was, was by, by the Uptown Municipal Hospital, and I, I saw these, these are tiniest little babies I've ever seen in my life. They were in that dog, they were cool guy, guy. You know, what I was, what, what, what was so funny is I could fit. I could fit four babies in one hand. Four babies in one hand. I was saying, I was saying, hey, baby, why are you so small? And they, they couldn't answer because they're so tiny. The voice box they ain't gonna go off, you know. So what I I proposed, I said, like, we need to get these babies a regular size tiny babies, not just the tiniest babies you ever seen. So that's when I heard of the program funded by Willington Smith. All right, they 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 helping babies become regular babies, not tiny babies, but still tiny because they're babies. So I thought to myself, like, why why wouldn't every nurse in the every nurse in the whole parish can want to do this? Alright? Why wouldn't you? Wellington Smith, we are you. Now we take a look at the weather in our neighborhood with Craig Cooley. Me. Welcome back. We're going to take it over to our guy who knows about all things fun, Todd Bopley. Todd's down where they're setting up for the big beach volleyball tournament this weekend. Todd? All right. Good hustle. Todd Bopley here on location. Uh, turns out it's not a volleyball game. It is, in fact, a softball game, and it's not at a beach. It's at a park. I really messed up all the details, folks. Anyway, if we take a... Oh! Well, looks like we have a guest, everybody. <laughs> what have you got there, sweetheart? It's a flower. It's for you. Oh, my gosh. How adorable. What is your name? Uh, Taylor Jones. I love the news. Oh, really? Well, who's your favorite person on the news? Lillian Shank. That one's easy. I want to be just like her when I grow up. Well, that's a silly aspiration. You should want to be a newsman because you can't expect anything but chaos with two women at the news desk. <laughs> it would be fine. Women are more than capable. In fact, any chaos would just be uh, the creation of a sick, 
jealous man who wants to see what he can have crumble. Well, that was oddly spoken for a child. Well spoken, if I may say. I... Get out. Lillian, listen to me. We are not enemies. We have to focus our energies together. Okay, Get out okay. of here, man! We have to focus our energies together against the real enemy. Pete has already turned us against each other, and we got to stop him before it's too late. Lillian, we got to stop him. But how do I stop him? All right. Well, Graham, it looks like a fantastic weekend. When we come back from the break, soap suds. Friend or foe? This'll get him. <laughs> Ooh, dry throat today. Thanks, Jack and Lillian. Yeah, as you know, all this heat, all this moisture, we're expecting a fuck ton of mast. That's right, 90% chance of mist and 95% chance of mist in the outlying areas. I also just got this in. Uh, the weather service has announced a bone storm warning from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., so please be careful. There is a bone storm warning. All right, back to you two in the studio. Mist! <laughs> 